look at uh, James chapter 1. James chapter 1, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse or different temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Uh, for let not that man uh, think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is un unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low. Because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. You see, we cannot take our money with us. And we need to be in heaven at the moment of death. Where are you headed? I wonder if you were to die right now, where would you be? Would you be in heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Or would you be down in hell because you've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who desires to be your saviour this afternoon? Blessed or happy is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust or own strong desire and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Another verse that we could look at in, in regard to that is, for the wages of sin is death. That is the outcome of our sin. That, God doesn't stop there. He says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm here to tell you this afternoon that you can have life only in the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't mean physical life, I mean spiritual and eternal life, that which we all need so desperately because of the fact that we are sinners when we're born into this world. We need to have forgiveness for those sins. We need to have those sins taken care of. And the only way they can be forgiven is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which he shed for us upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Wonder, is your soul saved as you walk past or drive past this afternoon? Are you on your way to heaven, as I said before? Are you still on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? There's no need for that. God does not want you to end up in hell, my friend. He wants you to be in heaven. And the only way is through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who has made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So if you come to Christ this afternoon, and believe upon him, receive him as your saviour, your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it, why not do it now, this afternoon, while there's still time and opportunity? We must get right with God. We must prepare to meet by God. That's what the Bible says. It warns us. Prepare to meet by God. How do we prepare? by receiving forgiveness for our sins. And that's only possible through the death, burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and the precious blood that was shed that day on that cross and our right reaction to it. You see, you can either receive Christ or you can reject him. It's up to you. Let me remind you, if you do reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll end up dying and going down to hell. That is not what God wants for you, my friend. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Do not err, my beloved brethren, every good gift and every perfect gift uh, 
uh, is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrong. For the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. This is what you need, my friend, the salvation of your soul. It's absolutely imperative that you come to faith in Christ. Without that faith in Christ, we're going down to hell, and that's not what God wants. He wants us to be in heaven. But the only way we can be in heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. But be you doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, or in a mirror, and for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, that is, into the word of God, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. You know, you and I, because we're born as sinners, we're heading down to hell by default. But God does not want us to go down to hell, and that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be our saviour. Yes, Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. Is your soul saved? Are you on the way to heaven? Are you still on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? God wants you to be in heaven. The only way you can be there is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to put your faith in Christ, my friend. There's no use trusting man-made religion. Man's religion will just lead us down to hell, my friend. We've got to trust in Christ. We've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Very simple. And that's why many people are missing out on God's eternal salvation, because they think that we can earn God's favor. We cannot do that. We cannot impress God by any way, shape, or form. The only thing that has impressed God no end is the death of his son upon the cross. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So if you come in repentance toward God, that is a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then you place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. In whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness, of sin. Wouldn't you like to have your sins forgiven and a home in heaven for all of eternity? Peace with God. The Bible says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way of salvation. Come to the one who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Have you come in repentance toward God? acknowledging your sinful condition before him, and then putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. See, that heaven or hell, salvation or damnation, what will it be for you? So determined by what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. And thanks for listening.